it's the truth, you man, the future, you know. Man, y'all see the title of this video, man. You got Jocelyn out here trying to force her man to marry her. That That's a dysfunctional woman for you. I'm going to let y'all know right now, man. Any woman who is damn near begging a nigga, trying to force him to marry her, after not even that long, is super dysfunctional, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to think about it, man. It, it It's the most dysfunctional women, the most women who are unworthy of a ring that be trying to put a nigga in a chokehold trying to force him to marry them and shit. If you watch how Jocelyn, you know, carry herself, this bitch ain't got no class at all, right? She on couples, uh, therapy and shit, the hip-hop version and shit. Shorty be acting a fool, twerking and disrespecting this nigga. He's simping, talking about, I'll wake up to make sure you ain't your baby good. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, Changing diapers and shit on the nigga kid while Stevie J trying to fight for custody of his kid. He busy playing stepdaddy and shit. And this bitch is just telling this nigga what he ain't and what he not going to do. And she's the baddest bitch and how he should be so lucky to have her and shit, man. Come on, man. You brothers don't need to be putting up with shit like that, man. You know what I'm saying? These women don't know how to be humble, man. I don't know who done lied to Jocelyn, man. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, you're not the best thing since sliced bread. You're not even wife material, man. This is why you got to beg a nigga and force a nigga to marry you, man. Anytime you women got to force a nigga to marry you, that nigga ain't really want to marry you. You're not wife material. There's a reason why. And only dysfunctional women run around here trying to force niggas to marry them. The last nigga you was with 10 years ain't even marry you. You done had five kids by a nigga and he ain't marry you. Now you done been with this new boyfriend six months. And, and you telling him he got to marry you or he got to go. Well, anytime a woman going to give you an ultimatum like that, man, you, you can go ahead and do it on her. You been with this bitch a couple months and she talking that marriage shit, man. That's a red flag. I'm trying to tell you. Because she really don't want to get married. She wants that ring for validation. See, some of these women think because they get a ring, you know, that means something. Like, they not a hoe no more or something. You know, that they're a good woman now. Because they want to flash that ring, man. When when a lot of them are undeserving of that ring. Women like Jocelyn are undeserving of that ring. Y'all over there... On couples therapy, you want to be twerking, shaking your ass. There's a bunch of couples around this shit. You shaking your ass in front of motherfuckers, man and shit, men and shit. You know what I'm saying? You don't give a fuck your man right there. You you all extra sexual, disrespecting this man and shit. Telling him he, gone, he better marry you. He gone marry you and shit like that, man. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just funny to me how the most press... These bitches be the press... Press his motherfucker to want to get married. But be the first to want to divorce. Ain't that funny? You know what I'm saying? You can tell the type of woman a woman is by how she reacts when she finally get that ring. Because, you know, hoes going to be as ah, baby as bitches. You know what I'm saying? She didn't know she was going to get married. She thought, when well, nobody going to put a ring on it. When, when, when you have these women who get the ring and they want to keep showing it all to everybody, always talking about how they get married, man, that bitch, she got a scandalous past, man. She, she, the ring is validating her in her mind, man. See, us as men, we don't even look at it the same. A nigga talk about marriage like he about to go to jail. Nigga be like, Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, nigga about to get married and shit to my man. It's 
These niggas be wet over there like he about to go to court like. Oh, nigga, don't call us no more to hang, nigga. Yeah, man, this bitch, you know. I mean, I love shorty, you know what I'm saying? But I holler at y'all niggas, man. Like he about to go do some time or something. These bitches get it ring. Ah! They won the Super Bowl. They be the first motherfucker to want a divorce. How is it that the first motherfucker that want a ring, the first motherfucker that want to force marriage on you, the first motherfucker that's going to press you to marry them is the first motherfucker that wants a divorce? Because, see, a lot of men, you know what I'm saying, we, 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 we take marriage real serious, man. That's a whole, you're my wife. You know what I'm saying? You got these women who, who swear they really want to be a wife, but they just want a ring to show off. This is why these bitches would complain about the ring size. This is why they're more concerned about how big the rock is, how much a nigga pay for it. You know what I'm saying? Want you to get on your knees, you know, and do all this. They want you to do everything you're supposed to do. But as far as their damn father paying for your wedding, they forgot about that part of the tradition. Bitch, you want this wedding? Bitch, is your father going to pay for this shit? Oh, you you never seen your father. Okay. Uh, oh, your father don't, he... Okay. Okay, okay. But I'm supposed to still, pay, you know, pay for all that shit. They can't even do the one simple part of the tradition is the bride's father's father is supposed to pay. Because it's his daughter's wedding. It's his daughter's biggest wedding. This is what marriage is supposed to be about. The father is passing his daughter on to the husband. He didn't pay for the wedding. You know what I'm saying? He walk her down the aisle. And pass her to the husband. But you know, not not in today's day and age. Mama walking some of these hoes down the aisle. They want you to pay for the wedding. You know what I'm saying? They'll be the first one to want a divorce and trying to force you to marry them like Jocelyn is doing with this man. Like, God damn. Like, the whole show... That's all Shorty talking about to where Judge Lynn is like, Shorty, like, the judge is even like, man, I don't even know why this nigga with you. He's a fool he married your ass. I'm the bad bitch because I'm the Puerto Rican princess and I'm the, bitch, you 37, 38. Sit the fuck down somewhere. These women don't know how to just be the fuck humble. Treat that man right. Stop shaking your ass every five minutes. Act like a lady. That's what Cuz said. He had enough common sense saying all he wanted is a woman who treat him good and acts like a lady. But you got a bitch that he with who acting like a cold whore out in public, but she want a ring. These women want to be able to sexualize themselves, degrade themselves, act like a little young thought little joint. Show their ass on the internet. Shake their ass on the internet. Take sexual pictures. Be loud mouth and combative. Disrespect them. Tell them they that bitch and all this. Make a nigga feel uncomfortable. And then still want you to uh put a ring on him. Because cuz is a simp. You know what I'm saying? Any nigga that puts up with a bitch like Jocelyn is a straight simp because she's, she's real disrespectful and she put her hands on niggas. You know what I'm saying? That shit's crazy, man. Look, my nigga, shorty ain't white material. If you want to go down that road and, and, and marry a bitch that conducts herself like that, man, that, that is your stupidity. You know what I'm saying? And, and if you a woman and you got to beg a nigga to marry you, you, you don't deserve a ring. You know what I'm saying? You And if you get it, you didn't deserve it. It, it. it doesn't mean shit. He just married you to marry you. Because you wouldn't shut the fuck up about it. You give him an ultimatum. So why did he not put a ring on it? Because we know men. 
If a nigga love you and, 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 and he, he sprung over you and he know you the best thing that ever happened to him, he going to put that rock on your finger. You got men who, who don't, uh, will marry a bitch after two months. Some of these white men will be cheating on their wives with, with, with prostitutes, get a divorce from their wives, and marry the prostitute. She treated him well. You know what I'm saying? So it's not it's not a, a thing of oh uh, men ain't ready for commitment and all this shit. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Nah, it's like man, look, man, that man's like, do I really want to be legally binded to this bitch? Because if a woman is already acting like she own your motherfucking ass and you just her man, how you think she gonna act when you her husband? When you legally bind it. That's what you're going to get, man. You know what I'm saying? Jocelyn is trying to force this man to marry marry her. And then when you got to force a man to marry you, you not marriage material. That's all I'm saying. I'm fucking out.